Three sailors remain hospitalized and 57 personnel, both sailors and firefighters, have been treated for minor injuries as a fire on board the USS Bonham Richard burns for a second day. An explosion was first reported around 9 yesterday morning, and when firefighters got there, there was heavy smoke coming from several areas of the ship. About 160 sailors were on board the San Diego based vessel at the time. Our Jamie Chambers is live from outside Naval Base San Diego with the very latest on this. Jamie? Yeah, Phil, what we're looking at right now is a lot more white smoke than just yesterday. Yesterday was just filled with black smoke in the air. White smoke is a little bit of good news. Let me take you out to some live pictures right now. What you're looking at is the USS Bonham Richard currently. Now, currently, the naval officials are reporting there is damage throughout this ship, including the superstructure. The Bonham Richard is listing, meaning it's leaning and taking on water. The naval firefighting teams are attempting to save this wasp class amphibious assault ship but as officers say the fire will also get a vote in this fight the ship fire broke out yesterday in the low cargo v area during renovations and the fire suppression gear was turned off because of those renovations naval officials are battling the blaze they say it's been a very dangerous fight but it will continue until the ship fire is completely out the superstructure in the upper decks continue to burn and have sustained damage. Uh, the forward mast has collapsed and the ship is listing. However, the watering is in progress and we're keeping a good balance between both. Currently, uh, 57 personnel, 34 U.S. sailors, 23 civilians have been treated for minor injuries, including heat exhaustion, smoke inhalation, and of those, five currently remain hospitalized for observation and are currently in stable condition. So that's the very latest on the information when it comes to the personnel fighting this fire. The next moments for this fire and the most dangerous moments that they're facing are currently the fire is burning two decks above the fuel tanks, or the fuel tanks that can hold roughly a million gallons of fuel. So they're trying to make sure that they can suppress that fire so the fuel and the fire never meet. That's